Hi YouTube, welcome to another rendering video. In this one, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how fast my render farm is, and uh, this will be a lead into a more detailed video about how to use Blender Flamenco. In that video, I'll show you how to install and use it properly. In this video, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate how it works. This is the hardware that we're dealing with. Um, these are most of the PCs. And then here are a few of the other ones, and you can see the server in the back of this picture. And these are all networked together with these 2.5 gigabit per second network cards that just go into PCI slots uh, so that there's less loading time. On this little spreadsheet here, I have the specs for the farm. If you wanna look at them more, you can. In the light blue over here, there is uh, kind of a summary of the performance. So total FP16 speed, with the current GPUs that I have installed is about 662 teraflops. Um, I also have 272 CPU threads available, which I try to use as little as possible because they're so much slower than these GPUs. Down here in the bottom, this is the list of GPUs. Most of them are 4070 series or 4070 supers, but you can see which ones are which down there. And as you can see, I have 18 total GPUs. So let me show you how easy Blender Flamenco is. So we're gonna, we're gonna use the classroom scene, which I use to benchmark GPUs all the time. I'll play it here on the timeline, and you can see that it's actually an animation. So it's 145 frames. The camera just zooms in basically to the marker board there. So I will get that ready. So now I have Flamenco installed. Flamenco is a distributed rendering software that the Blender developers actually make. It's free, it's made to work with Blender, but it works best with local networks, meaning um, everything should be installed in the same location. I'll show you how to set this all up properly in a full video. Here's how you use it. So with Flamenco running, all I have to do is come into the file that I want to share. And I'm going to set the job type here to simple blender render. And there's some there's some settings here that I can change if I want to, but basically um, I can just come in here and we will pick a, a file for where all of these images will go. And then all I have to do is hit submit to Flamenco here. And you can see that it transferred. It'll say down here, job classroom submitted. And let me pull up a browser. So now this is the, um, it's an internet browser interface, but it's just a local IP address here. And this is the user interface for Flamenco itself. So here you can see the list of workers and it just shows their names. And if I click on each one, it will show the tags that I've set up, which just let me turn on and off different sizes of VRAM so that I can run jobs on just certain GPUs based on how much available RAM they have. So then I'll come back up here to jobs just to show you when I click on this one, it says active. This is the job that's currently running. In the bottom here, you can see the frames that are running. They're numbered by frame number, and it'll show you the status of each one. And if I click on one single one of these, it shows you which machine is working on that frame and gives you some other information like how long it's taking and uh, the IP address of the computer. So as you can see, the frames on this little preview are bouncing around. Um, let me open the, there's a last rendered tab up here, and this will show you in real time the current frame that's um, produced. So you can kind of see it jumping around. That's because different machines are submitting these frames as we go. Uh, just mathematically, this won't take very long. As you can see, we're already seeing frames here in the list in the 60s, and this is only 145 frames. So since this farm is on average approximately an RTX 4070 speed-wise, um, each frame would normally take about 15 seconds for just one 4070. Um, but because this farm has so many GPUs, I should be able to finish this entire render in just about two minutes, maybe less. 
So I'll just let this run here so you can kind of see in real time the entire, um, the entire duration of the test. And uh, while we're waiting, so it looks like we're into the 90s of frames. Um, while we're waiting, I'll, I'll pick one of these that's done. Uh, Flamenco also can give you a log. So it shows you basically everything that that worker did to process that frame. And then at the very bottom, it'll tell you how long it took. So um, this exact frame took, uh, it looks like 9.83 seconds. So it gives you a lot of information. If there's bugs or errors, it will show you why and why the worker may have stopped. So now we're just about done already. We're up into the 120s. And so the way this works is when you share the Blender file, whatever the settings are for that open file will be saved and sent to the shared storage. So um, any settings you have in there will basically open on all of the other machines. And let me open the actual software. So this is the Flamenco Worker software. It's running on this workstation right now. Um, and it's just like a command line operation. So each machine doesn't even have to open Blender to run it. So it's super lightweight, super easy to use. So I'll get that out of the way. And as you can see, there is a machine working on frame 145 here. So once all of these actives switch to completed, uh, Flamenco will generate a preview of the video that we can watch in FFmpeg so it compiles it for you. And so um, it looks like there are no more actives, just a couple more actives. It looks like uh, the storage server one and the other desktop I have over here are finishing up right now. And they should be pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it to make sure. Once this is done, um, this little preview video will become available to watch. For some reason, these two frames are not completing. So what I can do is cancel these tasks. So I'll cancel these two that say active and then I'll requeue them. And they should restart on a different machine. <clears throat> and we should see them pop up here any second as completed. So you can also um, you can also sort this little table down here by the status. Okay, so one of them is done. So some of this time is for loading the scene and starting the render, and then obviously the machine has to send back the frame when it's done. And I'm gonna cancel this one more time. It looks like that desktop is not actually running the frames. So I'll cancel and requeue, and now um, it sent it to a different machine. So here within another maybe five to 10 seconds, this one should pop up as complete. Okay, so now that they're all done, I can view this preview video. It's just compiling it. It says it's active. It's just putting it all together. Okay, so that worker was not functioning for some reason. So I just canceled the task on that preview and requeued it and a different worker picked it up. So now that it's done, simply navigate to where that file is. And so in here is the folder where the file got copied to, and it's the destination that it, I told it to go into. And then it made a separate folder for the render. And now you can see all of the frames in here. So the first one was done at 9.39 PM, and the last one was done uh, at 9.43. So it took somewhere around four minutes. And here is the preview video. So it just kind of compiles this um, FFmpeg from all of the frames. And here are the full 145 frames. It took about four minutes to render, even with uh, restarting a couple of the machines. And that is it. So instead of about 40 minutes, of render time, this took about four minutes. And obviously this would scale up to much larger render time scenes as well. So it's even more beneficial for renders that would take days because they only take hours. Um, that's it for this one. I just kind of wanted to start talking about Flamenco. It's an add-on that 
people have told me to try before. And obviously it's super helpful. You can manage all of the workers and um, kind of monitor the status of the render as it does it. So watch here soon. I'll have the full video explaining how to set this up. Um, we'll do some more breakdowns on the actual hardware setup since it is slightly different than uh, my tutorials from a couple years ago for Render Farm. So anyway, thanks for being here and I'll catch you on the next one.